Yes, good evening. You're very welcome along to a fairly dark and gloomy Weavers Park. Port for the moment, the rain is holding off, and we're very grateful of that, as he'll be available next week, but he might not get back in. And uh, here's an opportunity now for Gallagher to put this one across the face of the goal. It's in the net. It's 1-0 to Drada. Inside three minutes, and it's Warren Davis. We just talked about how much he's been contributing this season. And he has gotten the opening goal for Drada, and his first goal of the season, John, a great move. Across the face of the goal and a great finish. Again, Marky at the heart of it again. Throw in from Andrew Quinn. Marky gets on it, plays a little ball in to, I don't know who he played in, Gallagher. Gallagher made a great run in behind. You watch the little ball in from Marky and a brilliant pullback. And again, the right back voice gets caught badly. What a start for Drada. And we said it, it was pivotal who scored first here. And again, Kevin will be looking for them in the next 10 minutes. Great little great little ball from Gallagher. See, Gallagher, Gallagher just held his run there yeah. as well, John. He was looking across Absolutely. and he just Watching, waited. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. It's a long ball up the field and uh, it's a really good challenge in the air on Hayden Campbell. Good play from Catherine Barr straight out off his line. It was Danny Mullen who was trying to make life difficult for Hayden Campbell. What we talked about earlier on about uh, being off his line quick. In fairness to him there, John, he was out pretty quickly. It was a, a little nudge on Hayden Campbell, just enough to put him off and then for sure it was... Well, what he gives them... A Duffy, is he going to get onto that one? He is, but Barr is there. Sorry, what John. He, what he gives him, Dave, is he's patching as one of the few players in this league that is, is comfortable off either foot. He's, he's can, he can play equally as well off left or right foot. He can spray with either foot. It gives you great balance in midfield because he, he has that on his locker then to either go right or left with those long diag raking passes. It no, and it's it's not it's not ideal tonight losing your two first choice starting full backs. I presume it will be Aaron McNally, but as you said, it, it then it, it restricts them in their attacking substitutions then, Dave. Yeah, well, here's McMullen down the right-hand side. He crosses it in, and it's in the net. It's 1-1. Oh, it's a great header. Michael Duffy. Michael Duffy, what a header from him. And it's no coincidence, John, that it happened when Evan Weir was off the pitch. It was down that side, drawn it down to 10 players, and Derry City have equalised it. A fine goal, and we can't say it hasn't been coming. Great cross in. Um, they have been turning the screw the last... You know, 10 minutes really. Again, you're right, Evan, or Dave, right where Evan, Evan Weir would have been, the left back would have been. Defensively, they, they had just lost their shape because of the player being off the pitch. They'll be really disappointed with that. You're right, Ev Connor Kane coming across, and Aaron McNally will go to right back. So, Drahad United concede. Well, it's an absolute through sooner rather than later, and they did. Here's Connolly, or happily recorded from that knock earlier on towards the back post, and the header again. Again, it was Duffy, and uh, that's going to be a corner. Came off the draw to player last, so another corner for Derry City, and uh, they're really on top now, John. Yeah, and the other the other whammy is now that Evan Weir would be pivotal to their set plays, Dave, and, and as you said, he's 63 crosses from from general play in eight games. Certainly from an attacking point of view, here's Packing again. He's getting oodles of ball in this first half. Cross comes in and it's well gathered by Catherine Barr again. He's been solid in this first half, John. To be fair to him. Yep, yeah, handling been very very good, but. Uh, Terry really turning the screw now. Um, Patching very influential. But, you know, I don't. I, I, I'm not one for being negative, but I think you've got to get somebody. In, as soon as you lose the ball, you've got to get somebody in around him. Dara Markey, O'Reilly. For the uh, certainly the bulk of this first half, ball in. It's a really good one, and it's a decent header by Mullen. Just couldn't get it onto the target. And uh, so what you're talking about there, John, is a, a kind of a, a semi-man marking job from Dara Markey. Absolutely. And, and you've got to listen. It's sometimes it's thankless, but sometimes needs must. Patching is dictating the game at the moment for me, certainly offensively. He's Run being made, McNally has to try and get tight to Duffy, it's a good ball in towards, oh, it was Mullen who had the snap shot. Danny Mullen looking to make a goal number four for the season for him, and he just couldn't direct it onto the target, but a really good opportunity for him. Should, should have scored, should have scored, Dave. Again, Patching, Duffy, usual suspects. You know, the, the other thing that maybe the, that Drada can do, they're playing with two sixes with, with Deegan on... Uh, Not ideal from Kevin Doherty's point of view. Not the biggest squad in the world to start with, and now two key players out. Here's Will Patching, and he's going to have a go from distance, and he's he scored, he has! Well, we've been talking about it all game. He's getting way too much room, John, and he was absolutely clinical there, and Drada really should have been closing him down a bit more. Brilliant ball from Mark Connolly. Mar plays it to him, a short free kick, Drada back off. So they've got a lot of bodies behind the ball, and it's unlike them. Um, 
Patching makes a, a little 10 yard run. What a finish. This is what this guy has in his locker. That's with his right foot, by the way, Ush, or Dave. We've seen him already spread balls out with his left foot. If you give him the room that, that Drahada are giving him tonight, he will just rip you asunder. And sometimes in, in a game, you've got to give the, the opposition credit. And, and, and if you nullify. Jack Heaney, because otherwise and, his and height would be useful in centre. Or he comes, he has a crack it straight into the wall, though. Comes back to him, he plays it in towards centre. The six yard box. Oh, what a chance that was for Aiden Gann. Just didn't get any real contact on it at all. But if he had. Surely it would have been 2-2. Kevin Doherty puts his hands to his head over on that far side. The shot from Keeney was into the wall. The second effort, a lovely cross in to his centre-back partner. No. And he's got a score, John, really, hasn't he? Didn't really make any contact with it at all, Can, And uh, it went harmlessly wide. But now Drogheda have won it back high up the pitch. Here's Markey. He has a goal, and it's just gone past the post. Well, Drogheda, they've had... A little bit of a better spell in the last five minutes or so, John, and that was a good opportunity for Markey. He took the shot on, and it just went past the post. All down to Brian Marr, bad decision making. Ball should have gone out to Connolly. I don't know what he was doing trying to play the more. Really good introduction last week when he came on, but there we have an opportunity up at the other end. It's with McMullen. A little toe poke into Patrick now. Can he find the cross? So Gary Deegan gets back. It was back towards Michael Duffy, and Gary Deegan in the right place at the right time put it out for another corner to Derry. Good covering from. The draw to captain John and just snuffing out the danger. Used all his experience there, positionally very, very good. Again, patching on on, on, on the end of most things that are good tonight about Derry. They still have time. Here's Dara Markey. Aaron McNally scored that absolute screamer against Cork City last year. This time he gets the cross in. It's a good one towards Piero. McElhenney's up there to put him off. And it's going to break, is it? No, it was Mar who got there first. Piero was just trying to sneak in behind. Kaios hit the shot on the swivel and... Uh, didn't get enough power on it to trouble Marin. If, ironically, there was less power on it, it might have fallen for Piero, but good play from Shane McElhenney. Back to Keeney again. Good ball forward towards Kaios. Down this right-hand side, Drogheda trying to build a little bit of pressure. It's a good ball in towards the uh, centre of the penalty area. It's Markey who gets onto it. Can they get a shot away? Piero, it's in! Franz Piero with his first goal for the club. You said it was going to come, John. And it has, and what a finish. Very, that's a quality finish. And listen, we said it. That could be the thing that sparks his season now. That is an absolutely quality finish. Brilliant play from Drawda. Connor Kane, excellent in it. If you look where he ends up, he's come back from a left back wing back position to the right hand side here. If you watch it here, Dara Markey again. What a little ball. What a finish day. First time. Well, it was Connor Kane, Kane yeah. John, who actually won that ball, and it was a 70 30 against absolutely. him. Absolutely. From, uh, from a left wing back position. Oh, what a finish from France Piero. Here it is again. And it was Connor Kane, as John said, who started that move originally. We're beyond the five minutes. This is the game. It's curled in towards the back post. Has it gone beyond everybody? It has. It's gone out for a goal kick. Well, it was an absolutely beautiful ball in. And there goes the full time whistle. It's all over. And Derry City, from a winning position, have uh, come away with just a point from Weavers Park. Kevin Doherty, as we said, would have been devastated by a 2-2 last week. He'll be much happier this week. Franz Piero's first goal for the club, rescuing a point for his side after Derry produced a really dominant first half display. They went behind early, but they went in 2-1 to the good. Thanks to goals from Duffy and Patching.